Okie dokie. I have asked a bunch of photographers to send in some photos, some raw files that they've taken that they'd like me to edit with my presets so I can show them what I would do and how I would edit them. So I have 12 images loaded in here and we're just gonna go through them. Um, okay, so I'm gonna throw punchy on this and I'm gonna make it a little bit cooler. Maybe add a little bit of pink. And then I'm gonna lower the exposure a bit because it's a little bright, but then I know that I'm gonna go in to masks and I'm gonna bring the subjects up a little bit. It's on the wrong setting right now. There you go. Okay, so that's gonna bring up the subjects a little bit. I'm gonna hit Shift M to make a radial filter so I can just brighten up faces a tiny bit. And mom already has some pretty good stuff going on there, so I'm not gonna mess with that at all. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is the sky. So I'm gonna say select sky. I'm gonna change this to my sky mask. And it's getting on the people a little bit. You can see it on like the dad and the little girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and say subtract subject just to make sure that's off of them and then I think the blue might be too much if I take blue off completely and then just bring it a little bit more in then I think that's better and then sometimes I'll like lower the highlights even more but I don't I don't want it to go too far I think this looks nice and this looks a little bit crooked so I'm just gonna Fix that and move them a little bit more to the middle, like that. And then, well, let's see, I think I'm actually gonna go into the HSL and go to Hue, and let's mess with the greens a little bit. Since it's fall, I might make the greens a little bit more um, yellow and then go into saturation and just bring yellows down a little bit because in the fall a lot of times when the greens are too intense sometimes it looks a little off to me especially when you have like such pretty colors back there so that's kind of why i do that but now i'm going to come in and i'm going to warm it up a little bit because i feel like we took it out now so that yeah that looks a lot better and that is probably all I would do. Let me see. Might like add some darkness around the edges here. Just because I think that looks nice. And yeah, I'm good with that. All right, moving on. I'm gonna put, let's see, we've got punchy, punchy warmth or, so let's see, punchy or punchy warmth. I kinda like punchy warmth for this. Because punchy warmth, um, it makes the shadows a little bit less um, intense. So I think that that works for this since this was shot um, when the sun was still pretty high. Oh yeah, I forgot I was going to do a little mini critique on the images as well. So let me go back to this and just... Um, I guess I didn't say anything because it's pretty awesome and I didn't really have anything to say. <laughs> This is super cute. I think it's done really well. The lighting looks good. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really have anything to say. It's awesome. Okay, moving on. All right, so this one. Um, obviously, like, it's a wedding. You can't choose the time of day that you're shooting in, and I think the sun was really high, but I really think that this still turned out really nicely, and so with the situation that you were given, I think you did a really good job. They still look back lit, but you didn't get any like crazy hazes or flares in here that would look weird. And then you also included the entire shadow, which I like. I think that looks really nice. Okay, so moving on to actually finish editing this. Let's do select subject. I'm going to do my face bright less um, and that is just helping to brighten them up because they're in shadow a little bit and then i'm gonna hit shift m just to get that 
radial filter just to get them a little bit brighter on their faces. And then let's go with the sky mask and see sometimes when you do the sky mask when there's a lot of trees and stuff it does this which looks really funky so I'm gonna click on add and I'm gonna do linear gradient and I'm just gonna like and I know this looks insane right now hold on a second subtract subject and then we're gonna get rid of the blue because that was not working for us and I just bring down the highlights all the way and I mean there's really not a lot to save in the sky I considering what time of day this was in I think that the fact that there's even anything in the sky to save is kind of a miracle so good job and I might actually I'm gonna click M which just brings up this linear gradient and I'm gonna go like this and do like a burn darken on it which is just exposure down by negative 30 and then I'm just gonna subtract it off of them just to make sure it's not on them and that just kind of darkened this area up and made it not so bright and intense and let's see let's bring the shadows up a little bit more well, maybe not that much and let's see what happens if we I think I liked it like that okay I think we need to add some warmth to this that's really nice and then I don't know I think I think I would leave that I think that is good um you could also just not do the sky because it was so um it was still kind of blown out that maybe it's too much to add the sky mask so instead I'm just gonna hit M so I can have a linear gradient and do this and then I would just yeah would do burn darken and I also just bring down the highlights a little bit and instead of having it so intense I would just do that and so the difference yeah I think the sky mask is too much for this image just because there's not a lot of sky to save um and I would I think that would be better I like this better okay done now we're gonna do this one okay so let's start with punchy yep knew that was gonna work um and as far as the like, critiques i just kind of wish that their heads were down underneath the line of the mountain and if if that were tilted a little and maybe if you could have stepped back and included their feet i think this would have been like a lot stronger but I know sometimes like that's just not possible um let's see this was shot with oh yeah 105 millimeters so like you probably were s stepping pretty far back already and maybe you couldn't go back any farther okay let's do select subject and do the face bright less mm, bring it down even a little bit more and let's see if there's let's see is there anything in the sky to save mm, not really so I so the fact that there isn't any sky to save there could have been if you had shot this a little bit darker because they're they're pretty bright already so if you'd shot darker then some of that sky might have gotten a little bit more saved and I know that like I'm seeing a little bit of clouds here but it's not enough to try and fix because there's no information here at all so I wouldn't even attempt to bring out the sky it's kind of pointless at this point but what we can do is go over to radial gradient and um, feather that a lot more and let's put the more sunshine on there and see that just kind of just kind of makes it like have more sun and warmth and stuff so I like that and I'm gonna take the pinks down a little and I'm gonna make it a little bit warmer yeah okay this is super cute and that is what I would do next one I'm gonna do punchy or soft warmth maybe yeah I might do soft warmth for this just because this was shot um I would assume on a cloudy day either that or the sun's already gone down so it's there's not a lot of contrast here and so just to make the shadows a little bit less intense soft warmth kind of does that 
All right, I'll select subject. That is the wrong setting. Um, face bright less. Okay, so that just this is before and after. So just brighten them up a little bit. And then I'm going to hit shift M and do the masks on the faces just to make sure that they have enough light on their face. Go through and do all these. And then there, I think we need to lift the shadows a little bit more on him and then also on her. She just seems like too shadowy to me. Be like that. Okay. And then let's see, let's warm this just a touch. Yeah. And then I'm gonna bring up the exposure a little bit. Yeah, and I think that looks really nice. I might just add some darkness around the edges. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think this is done really well. Let's let's zoom in. So the only thing is that we're focusing here on him, right? And so she's still in focus. She's pretty good, but then they're like moved back a little too far. So you can see that they're kind of out of focus back there. So in this scenario, I would have rather had him sitting back farther or brought dad forward with this little boy. So then they could all be closer to the same plane because um, he's so far forward and he's so far backward that they're too far apart to have uh, good focus. And we also were at f2.5, so you could have gone to like 3 point something and that might have helped. But also, I mean, you can shoot shots like this if you just try and push people closer to each other. Uh, but aside from that, it's really cute and the composition is really good and I like how they're arranged as far as like, it's kind of like a little triangle or um, like a diamond and I, I think that looks really good. All right, let's do this one. Um, and then I would just say as far as critiquing this right away, like dad's foot is cut off here. I do this all the time without noticing. Um, <laughs> So I think if you'd step back, it would have been stronger, especially because she's in the air. I would have liked to see a little bit more space up here, and I think that would have been better. But we can come in and just kind of crop it. Let's see. Crop it in a little bit. I guess there's no real like good way to crop this, because if you go in to try it, like this is where I'd want to be on Dad, but now we're cropping her off at the ankles, so... And we're getting rid of the flowers. So I don't know, you might just have to. I don't know. I might <laughs> I might actually bring this one into Photoshop and just try and, and see if AI generative generative expand can like fix it. Um that's probably what I would do, just because um it could probably create a foot here and give us a little bit more space up top. Okay, so let's come in with punchy and yeah, the coloring actually looks good already. Let's go to this one, it's just the face bright. So I brought up the shadows and the whites and I think I will just get that radial filter over her face and then I'll do select sky because it looks like there's some stuff to save back there. Yeah, hmm, that's pretty. I think I'm gonna take the blue out. It's maybe too much. Maybe just a little bit. And just make sure. Yeah, it is on the little girl a little bit. So I'll say subtract subject. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then I think I'm gonna just make it a little bit warmer. Be get rid of the pink. So the pink in her dress is kind of making everything extra pink. And I'm going to do some darker edges here. Let me see. So we're doing too much. There we go. Okay. So I guess I will just actually, hmm, I'm going to make the shadows a little. Yeah. Okay. I actually think for this one, because the... Uh, the sun wasn't 
if the sun was like behind some clouds, so I might add some luminance to just make it pop a little bit more. And then I would normally bring it into Photoshop and like fix that what I said, but I don't have time for that right now. So I'm not going to do it, but you could. All right, we're going to go to, let's see. I'm liking best here. I like this one. Okay, I'll do soft warm for this and just warm it up a bit. Might be good. We'll see. All right, select subject. I'm like doing the same thing to like every single <laughs> image. Like I just do the same thing for everything basically. All right, we'll do sky. See, that looks really cool because the sun was back here um, behind this tree. So that looks amazing. Um, what I am going to do is do a radial. This is on the wrong settings right now, so ignore that. But let's go to more sunshine. Maybe not more sunshine. Let's go to sun warmer. Yeah. So that just warms it up a little bit. And... I think that looks good. I might do another one. Very small right here. With face bright and just to like try and make that obvious that the sun was out right there. Yeah. Cause it was kind of hard to see that brightness of the sun, but now I'm seeing it a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna raise exposure by pushing the plus button, but that's because I've clicked on exposure to make that be the plus button. If I click highlights, now that is what happens when you hit plus and minus, but I, I am always on exposure because that's what I'm gonna use it mostly for. Okay, so um, actually as I'm looking back here at the mountains, I actually kind of wish that this mask were like on there a little bit more. So I might just like add and do brush. I'm gonna put the flow a little bit less and then I'm gonna hit the bracket keys to just make this bigger, feather it a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this brush. I'm just gonna go over this area just to add it into that mask because it was not grabbing it and I wanted that part a little bit darker as well um okay and there is a can here <laughs> that I would just take out so I would just click on this one this is the one that like kind of AI is going to figure out what it should do yeah kind of sucked let's try again sometimes if you make the brush smaller and just kind of barely get the area. It does a better job. Nope, still sucks. So we're gonna go over to this one. And this is where it's gonna grab a section. I don't know why it's grabbing up there. Let me move it down so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I just wanted to grab some grass. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks believable to me. Okie dokie. Let's see, I feel like they're still looking a little too dark. So I'm going to do shift M and that's going to get me my um, radial gradient. And then I'm going to switch, obviously that's on the wrong one. And I'm going to put, that's too much. So we'll go to like four and three. So that's before and after. Yeah, that looks better. Just need to brighten that part of the image up a little bit. And we'll go down. We'll make sure the edge is a little bit darker. And I think we'll do the luminance on this one as well. Yeah. That looks really nice. Let's see. A little bit warmer. Yep, that's what I do. Okay, and as far as like critiquing this one, I think it's it's really nice. I like that you've included the entire tree. Um, it might be slightly crooked actually. It's hard to tell, but it might like, just feel like maybe the line of it looks like it goes that way a little bit more. Um, so maybe like that. Um, and I like the stairs and the placement of them. So then they're, um, the background behind them is darker. If they had been like up 
in the sky at all, then I don't think it would have been as strong. So I think that the framing of this is really nice. All right, moving on to this one. Okay, we're gonna do, this is a 70 millimeter. That looks pretty. All right, we'll put punchy on there. But it needs to be warmer. I do that. And then it looks a little bright, so I'm gonna lower the exposure. And see, if you go down, there's nothing in the sky to save. I think because this was shot maybe a little too bright, if we had lowered the exposure, maybe there was something to save, but maybe there wasn't anyway, because it's still, um, it seems like because of the mountains, the sun, in order for the sun to be peeking out right here, um, it was a lot higher in the sky. So that means it was probably going to be harder for you to save the information in the sky anyway. But I still would have underexposed it just a little bit, just so then like this, um, like sun flare wouldn't have been such a like hard line right here. It would have been a little bit more uh, glowy. Okay, so let's select subject, do this face bright, and that looks good. Great. I kind of think that dad needs a little bit of brightness and maybe this kid here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's do another radial gradient and we'll put it over the sun. And let's see what we can do here. Oh, maybe more sunshine? Yeah, that just makes it look a little bit more um, glowy. And then we might select background. That's the wrong setting. Um, and do darken. And I actually think I might want to warm up the background even more. Yeah, because that looks more full to me. And then bring the highlights down a little bit. Yeah, I like that. I'd probably take this out just because it looks like a trash can or something that got tipped over. It might, maybe it's supposed to be there, but I'd probably take it out because it's a little distracting. Um, there we go. But yeah, this is an adorable photo and I think it's a frame pretty good. It, it's a little bit off center where to the point where it doesn't feel intentional um if there was more information over here to show and they were more to the right then i think the off center would work a little bit better but since uh there's not i would rather see them be centered and so you could even do this since there's nothing in the sky to save you could even do that and just get them right in the center like that and I think that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, but this is great. Look at, they're all like smiling and looking at each other and laughing. That's awesome. Sometimes that's hard to do when you're doing this kind of shot because <laughs> like somebody's not into it and then you're like, Ugh, every shot was good except for this one person's face. Uh, but no, this is great. Okay, let's see this one. Okay, so I'm going to put punchy on that. I do have two of this person's. I tried to pick only one of everybody, but she had two different lighting scenarios here, so I thought it might be kind of fun to do both. Okay, so punchy or... Yeah, I think I do like punchy, but I'm just gonna raise the shadows a little bit. Um, let's go do select subjects and see that's looking put this on her face brighten it up a little bit brighten hers there we go okay and then as far as the crop on this we're just like kind of barely cropping off feet here so i would have rather seen it be showing all the feet or going in farther because it looks awkward to just see like a little bit of a foot and nothing else you know so i might do like and also there's just too much information over here for no reason because they're mostly facing this way 
So it seems like it would make more sense to have more info over here because the info over here just looks awkward. So I'm going to like crop it in like that. And I think that looks a lot better. Um, let's see. There is information in the sky to save. So let's go do that. There we go. Um, I just bring the highlights all the way down. But see, when sometimes when you do that, now there's like this harsh line around this rock that looks stupid. So I'm going to put this back. Let's see if I take off the blue. And I think it looks less ridiculous, but mm, I don't know. See, do you see this line around here? Like that drives me nuts. So let me see. I'm going to add a linear gradient and just let me see if it's going to work. Hold up. I'm going to do this like that. So if I put that there, does that help? I got rid of it a little bit, but not really. Um, bring the shadows back up and then I'll subtract it from the subject. That's a little better. Now that line around here is not as intense. It's still kind of there, but it doesn't bother me as much. Um, okay, so now I'm just going to raise the exposure on that and then I think that there might be a little too much pink going on here yeah that looks good raise it up a little bit more there we go um and then just with the posing on this one the mom's arm is like trying to be connected to her but it seems a little awkward I think I would have rather had the mom's arms around this little girl and then she could have been like hugging onto the mom because that would have turned her body um, more sideways to the camera instead of being full on because that makes her look wider. So if her hands were around her daughter, like both her hands, then she'd be turned more towards this direction. And then this little girl could have cuddled in like kind of with her head leaning on her the back of her shoulder. And that would have been um, like more connected and stronger um, and, and more flattering, I think, for the mom. So I would have done that. But aside from that, like, this is super cute photo. All right, so obviously, like, the sun was behind them in this one. So here, the sun was um, just, like, directly on her, but maybe it had gone down. So the sun had gone past the point of some kind of mountain or something, but it was still in the direction I don't know how to explain this without like showing you <laughs> my body when I'm putting it. The sun went down, but we're, it's behind the photographer's back. So then that's, even though it went down, it's reflecting on them differently. Like she's very bright right here, but obviously the mom is turned away from it. I think if we had turned them slightly, so then that sun was hitting mom and the little girl, this would have looked a lot nicer because she's so in shadow here. Um, but this one, the lighting was more even on all of them. But this one, they just needed to be turned slightly because it's all on her and it's not getting on her. Okay, so I would probably edit it pretty similar to the last one. Actually, let me undo this. I would take this, hold shift, and I would hit sync. And then I would just... Oops, make sure that I was syncing everything that I wanted syncing. I don't sync um, transform, healing, crop, because those are all going to change depending on the photo. And then masking, a lot of times I will, um, but it depends on the mask. But this time, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it this time. Okay, so I just synced it so everything is the same and then I would just go over here and select subject. We're still on that one. That's good. And then I would just put this on her and try and brighten her up a little bit more since she was so in shadow. And then I might do that even again just to try and get her even brighter. And there we go. 
And then let's select the sky because I can see that it's blue, but that's like too much. I think I like the blueness that it automatically was. And then there we go. That looks more believable. Okay. And this one seems like it needs to be a little less yellow. Yeah. So there's both of those. Uh, moving on to this one. Throw punchy on there. Definitely need to warm it up and make it pinker. There we go. I love the light on this. It's so pretty. Select subject. I don't need it that much. And let's put that on her face. And then I'm going to do another radial and put it over the sun. Move this out of the way. Okay, so that was before and that's after. Yeah, I think that looks nicer. Just warms it up a bit. Makes it a little bit more soft. Okay, so let's see. The critique I would have on this image is just that there seems like there's maybe a lot of space going on that we didn't necessarily need. Or maybe it's just that she's... I would rather see her face on more on this line and not like in between the middle and this line. So if I'm going to fix that I would do that but then I'm kind of cropping into that tree which I don't love so it's like and then and then I don't like it when it's closer up so if it were actually like this much space all around but she were here I think it would look better or she could just be in the middle but it just seems like we need to put it somewhere because it just feels a little awkward but if we put her in the middle now we're cropping it in way too much and her arm is down um maybe she could have been doing something with her arm so it's not straight I kind of uh, am always looking for arms hanging down and trying to avoid that so I might have had her hold on to her dress there and kind of like be flipping it around a little bit while she was standing there that would have given her arm something to do so it's not just hanging and then this one i like that she was touching the tree um but yeah that's all i would do to that image it's beautiful uh, let's get to this one now this one yeah this one i think let's see which one i'll put on i might want I'll do punchy. Um, but this, I feel like the, this is obviously not shot with a cannon because the colors <laughs> are so much different to what I'm used to. Let's see. I shoot with cannon, so I'm used to my cannon colors. Um, let's go to select subject. That's the wrong setting. Face bright. There we go. And then I'm going to put face bright onto, oops that a little bit onto their faces especially mom because she's wearing a hat but uh, yeah maybe just mom they all look pretty good and then let's see not that you need it because the sun's already looking pretty but we could do more sunshine on that or we could do sun warmer and just make it like a little bit warmer um, I think I like more sunshine, but then I might just like bring that up a little bit. Um, this image seems a little bright, so let's kind of lower the exposure here and just to bring up the people a little bit more. Like that. And I'm going to go down here and gonna bring that all the way down this was shot with an 85 millimeter so it doesn't do as much when you go all the way with a 35 when you bring that the vignette down is that how you say that word I always don't want to say it because I don't want to say it wrong <laughs> uh, but when you bring that down on a 35 millimeter it's gonna be a lot more intense but with an 85 it's not as much 
Okay, so I think that looks great. I might also, I'm hitting M just to get the linear gradient. And I might also just darken this area, but subtract from the subject. Um, maybe not that much though. Just because the trees were looking a little bright. So yeah, that looks better. And then I also might do that here. Just gonna darken the ground right there by their feet. Go a little bit more with that. Um, let's see. Yeah, I like that a lot more. And I think that this is shot pretty straight. It's just that you're in this area where these lines are going diagonal. So if you turned a little bit, so then the lines would look straight within your camera. Um, you could, but then of course that would make the sun be in a different spot. So that's probably why you didn't. Um, maybe just like that. And then it's not quite centered. So I'd rather see it centered like this, but then that's kind of a bummer because you cut off some of what's happening up here. But I think that that would look better because now it is centered. But um, yeah, so, okay, as far as posing, I think any time that you have a person stand there and put their arms behind another person, um, I just don't love it. It doesn't look like a professionally posed image. It just looks like anybody would do. Like, you know, everybody just always wants to stand there and throw their arms around people. But I don't allow people to. So I would have had mom and dad hugging each other. And then I would have brought the kids in and had them like kind of hug in onto their backs. And I would have switched these two. So then the shorter girl was on the outside. And then that would have been a really cute little like squishy hug pose. And um, it would have made mom look thinner and it would have made them all look more connected because you don't really want to see these spaces like this. Um, so yeah, that's maybe, what, I mean, there's lots of different ways you could have posed them, but, um, but I just don't like it when people just throw their arms around people like this, like mom's doing it and dad's doing it. Uh, and it just doesn't really, I'm, I'm just not a fan. Okay. We're going to go to this one. We're going to go to, let's see. So this one is a JPEG. So because of that, the presets aren't going to look exactly as they would on a raw file. Um, so I'm going to go with bright and I'm going to warm it up a bit. And I'm probably going to bring the contrast down because this is a JPEG. So sometimes that gets a little too much. Um, we'll do select subject and I'm going to get that radial filter and just get that over her face because it looks a little bit more in shadow. And I don't think you really need to do a ton with this. Might just raise the exposure by one. Yeah, and that looks really good. Um, I think with the posing on this one, I don't love it when anyone's feet are coming out at the camera. So if you can avoid that, um, then do. So I would have had her bend her legs so then they were going like that. And then she could have like kind of been, um, her shoulder would have been down a little bit more, more behind dad. And that would have looked a lot nicer for her to shape her body. And then you wouldn't have the bottom of her shoes sticking out towards the camera. I also would, so with dad's, like I'd rather if this knee were sticking straight up and that foot were like flat on the ground because then that makes him look a little bit more relaxed and his arm could be like resting on it or it could still be, could have been around her or something. But then that way um, his legs wouldn't look so like, hey, I'm sitting here on the carpet in kindergarten. So I try and get dads to do stuff like that but dads are kind of awkward to pose, so it's kind of difficult. Um, but that's what I would have done there and had mom um, flip her legs that way. And she could she could be like 
hiding a little bit behind dad and like hugging onto his arm there or she could be turned more facing this direction and then that would have um, had her be a little bit more sideways to the camera going the other direction and she could have held the the baby in her lap maybe facing her and cuddled the baby in or something so just some different things to think about with the posing when you're sitting people pay attention to their legs okay um that's it that was really long whoops okay hopefully you enjoyed this and this was helpful thank you to everybody for sending in your images and that was done through my broadcast channel on instagram so i'll put the link in the profile for anybody who's stumbling upon this video and is not in that broadcast channel it's free and i do lots of fun stuff in there like this where i have people send in images and i edit them or we do lots of other different like tips and things like that so if you want to join i'll put the link to that in the description of this video all right thanks